So we're here in Florida, fishing with Jared from Dingo Sports Fishing Adventures. And when we got this together, he asked me, hey, have you ever vied before? I said, yeah, I vied before. I went to Arizona State University. I'm like a pro. Said, no, 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 no. You ever vibed while fishing before? Oh yeah, absolutely, I vibe. My wife tells me all the time, I think like a fish. I vibe with fish. No, 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 no. Vibing is a specific technique that Jared from Dingo Sport Fishing uses to catch monster snook here in Florida. So I'm gonna go learn a whole brand new way to vibe. Looking forward to it, we got a beautiful day. So it's time to vibe. So guys, it's time to learn how to do this vibe. Um, we're gonna be fishing the uh, Nomad Vertrex Max 110. We're uh, looking for some snook, maybe some tarpon, and I'm looking to learn a new technique, I'm learning the vibe. So hopefully Jared here is gonna help me out and catch me a big fish. So we cast her, I've closed the bale right on, I'm letting it fall. Yep. I can feel it on the bottom now, so okay. now I start doing the vibe thing. So I'm doing it like this. This lure can be worked like that off the bottom, but the most successful way for me to be able to feel the, the lure hitting the bottom and bites is not moving the rod at all. Once it hits bottom, two or three very fast winds to feel that lure vibing off the bottom without twitching the rod, hold the rod stationary, no rod action at all, okay. just cranking it. It's going to swim on its own, it's going to go you stop and it's going to glide to the bottom on its own. As it free falls, that's when the bites come. Oh. So you don't want to move the rod. Don't even want to twitch it, no jerking. Just keep it still. Just crank it off the bottom. And once it hits bottom again, then you crank it. No, no popping, no jigging, okay. no All right. nothing. Nope. All right, let's give it Just a shot. Just hold the rod still. All right, I think I got you. I think I got you. A little bit of stuff on there. All right, time to buy. That's a freaking beauty, mate. Oh my god, it is. That's a monster. All right, well, she's back. She's swimming. She's fine. It's about a 42 inch snook. Lessons learned. You definitely want to listen to your guide. Um, Jared from Dingo Sport Fishing dialed me in and he taught me that vibe. And that vibe is for real. It's way better than Arizona State University's vibe. The only thing now is to go get ourselves another one. But first, we want to check and we want to make sure that the Nomad vibe is in good, pretty good condition. Um, you want to take a look and see are the hooks. We all know hooks can get bent out on a, on a fish that big. Unbelievably, these hooks are in perfect condition. The only other thing is, as you can see, the vibe is through wired. We have a slight bend to it that she put into it, which I'm surprised it wasn't more. And we're just going to go ahead and straighten her back up again. And I'm ready to do some more vibing. I want a 44 inch Nomad Vertrex Max.